Hello, Dr. Arp here. This is the second video in the uh, progression of setting up Google Analytics for a, uh, to use it for um, analytics for uh, a website that I'm going to use, kevinwtharp.com. And what I did is I set up the account in the last video. Now what I'm going to do is I've gone in and I've actually added the property. The property is the website or web application um, that you want to track. I've already added that to my profile and it's given me a, a some information that I need to use including a um, a code I've got a tracking ID and I've got a tracking code and what it does is I've got this code that I can copy and paste into individual pages but it also gives me information about if I'm doing a PHP implementation it gives me instructions about how to uh, do it with PHP uh, if I want to do a dynamic content implementation um, uh, where you would use a, a an include or a template and that's actually what I'm going to be doing I'm going to be using a template in this uh, just because of the way that I've got uh, kevinwtharp.com set up and if you happen to be doing one for older feature phones it'll uh, show you how to do WAP um, so what I need to do is I'm going to take this code right here and I'm going to copy that now my next move is that I need to go to um, my property which is uh, Kevin W. Tharp and I need to add this to the pages so in this case I'm going to add Dreamweaver uh, to the mix and so I've got my Dreamweaver open here and what I want to do is I want to go to um, my site and I want to add it to what I'm doing so uh, the first thing I need to do is I'm going to I'm using a particular template in here I'm going to use the responsive design template and what I need to do is I need to go in here and I need to add that script to it now uh, when you come in here and look um, it doesn't say any particular place that you need to put that tracking code uh, when you get into more details you can look at whether you want to add that at the beginning or the end uh, just to keep things simple here I'm going to add that script um, right before the very end of my page. Uh, so at the end of my footer, right before the close of my body tag. And you notice that, um, again, I'm using Dreamweaver. I post pasted that in, not into the content window, but into the code window uh, so that uh, it doesn't convert that code into information um, that's visible so it, it doesn't translate the the different things into uh, ASCII code that represents what those characters are so I'm gonna go ahead and refresh that you'll notice that the page doesn't change but when I go to save this because it is in a template uh, when I save this page what it's gonna do is it's gonna update and right now there's only two pages that are made off of this particular template uh, but it's going to update all those and I'm going to choose update to make sure that the those pages that are built off of that template uh, stay consistent with the uh, template so that they're still connected and then so now what I need to do is I need to synchronize my site so that those codes go up there and I just want to put new files to that remote and so what I'm doing now is I'm just moving, I've done this adding the code on my local machine. Now I need to add it uh, so that it's actually visible out on the web. And of course it's going to go through and look at all my things in this property. And it's going to look at those things that I've changed. There's four files. There's the templates uh, and then the pages that are built off of uh, that template. And so I'm going to choose OK. It's going to synchronize all those pages up. And then when I go to um, that website, I'll be able to look and see if that is in there. And you're going to want to do that. You're going to want to make sure that it's got here. So I've come to this page. I'm going to right click or um, use the, the menus to navigate. And what I want to do is I want to look at my page source. And depending on which browser you're going to use it, you may have that view page source or there may be other ways. But what you're going to do is find in your browser your ability to look at that and then you go down to in this case I've put it at the very end and there is that script uh, that Google's gave me and you can always tell um, because it's got this bit in it Google's Google Analytics object and so that tells me that that code is in there so as soon as I've done that I have added that um, 
code to my property and that will start the process.